Good afternoon, mine dame and herr. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the Standard here in Copenhagen, Denmark. My name is Nils Landoki. I'm the music director uh, here in the Jazz Club, and I'm one of the co-founders of the Standard as well. And I'm also playing uh, piano in uh, a portion of tonight's program. Uh, and I'm just uh, going to say a few words before the program starts. And uh, I'm, of course, going to introduce the uh, musicians to you. Um, this is our first day and our first broadcast live on, on uh, YouTube and Google Plus uh, of a series we call the New Legacy Concerts. And the purpose of uh, the, the series is to present some of the exceptional young talents uh, in music um, on the scene today. Um, when I say exceptional, I mean really, really exceptional. Uh, I think Google wrote on, on their page, they wrote super talents. And I think that's it's fair to, to, to say that these are, in spite of the fact that you're going to be experiencing very young performance, they are uh, incredibly, incredibly talented uh, beyond any uh, normality that I, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so this is very exciting for us. This is something we're going to be doing every other Sunday for the time being. Uh, with time, we hope uh, uh, to grow and uh, to do it weekly uh, after a while. But for now, we're very, very uh, uh, thrilled to be able to, to do these series. And uh, with the help of Google, of course, but also thank you, thanks to the uh, Gangster Foundation, who has made this possible, and also to uh, se several uh, partners, including the uh, Hotel SP34. Um, you're going to be witnessing three young talents today uh, who are going to be the featured artists. They're exceptional, exceptional. 
Um, but before I pr present them, uh, I'd like to present uh, the two old guys that are going to be playing with them. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> so I've, I've presented myself already. And the other old guy, sorry, Ira, if I, we're, we're the old, old guys here in this context. But uh, I'd like to present him first, and then we'll get to the young performers afterwards. So uh, it is our bassist. And... Um, he is a, a, a dear old friend of mine. We've known each other since 1982. We went to a school together. We studied music together at the Berklee College of Music in Boston. And uh, later on, we were roommates for a while in New York City. Uh, he since has gone on to become one of the most respected and most demanded bassists in the international jazz world. And he's worked with... Uh, long list of luminaries uh, in the jazz field, including people such as Herbie Hancock, Freddie Hoppert, Tony Williams, and numerous others. Last few years, he's been the bass player with Sting. And uh, he is a blessing for us to have uh, here. We're so proud to and honored to, to have him. And I'd like to bring him on stage first so please welcome on bass the great Ira Coleman. <laughs> our first, uh, I'll, I'll introduce our first uh, young musician um, last, since he's going to be coming on stage first. Uh, but I'll just like to say that you uh, will be hearing a great Danish singer named Amanda Thompson. Um, and you'll be also uh, encountering, you'll, you, you, you'll get to hear the incredible young pianist from Bali, Joey Alexander. So those are our two out of our three featured young artists this evening. Um, Bianca Raquel was supposed to be here, but uh, also as a fourth performer, but she unfortunately has caught laryngitis so, and lost her voice. So she's uh, not going to be with us. Uh, for those of us who are watching us online from Paris, we can say that she, uh, she will be performing in Paris on Thursday at the Bizarre, the club Bizarre. Uh, so anyway, our first guest or featured artist this evening is our drummer. He is uh, Danish, and he uh, I, I heard him for the first time by coincidence in 2009. I uh, coincidentally walked into a small club to have a drink with a friend, and uh, there happened to be some live music there, and after a few sips of uh, our drinks, we realized that the drum up with the band was unusually uh, compelling. So. Uh, after, after, before we left, we gave, I gave my card to the doorman and said, please ask the drummer to give me a call tomorrow. So that's what he did, and that's kind of how we hooked up. And then this was in late 2009. In 2010, I hired him as a house drummer at the jazz house Montmartre that I was involved in reopening uh, at that time. And uh, in 2011, I hired him to become the permanent drummer in my trio. So he's been traveling with me around the world, uh, everywhere I've played, basically, uh, since then. And he also appears on my latest two albums. And he's an exceptional talent. And I, I, w I moved back here to Denmark permanently last year to open this place with Klaus Meyer and my other associates. And uh, this, I haven't lived permanently in Denmark since 1981. And back then, there was only a small handful young people playing jazz uh, and I have to say coming back here realizing uh, what the level amongst young musicians is is pretty astonishing so I'm very very excited about that and also very excited to get people like Ira to come come in here and, and, and meet them and experience them so let's bring our first featured artist on stage please welcome on drums Niklas Badeleben So we'd like to play a tune that features Nicholas. 
And this is a composition of mine that we play. Uh, it's called Contemplation from a Mountain Top. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for coming and thank you for watching. We hope you will enjoy the show. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Niklas Badeleben. Thank you. Uh, the next artist I'd like to uh, present and invite up on stage is a young Danish singer. Uh, she came in here for her first time uh, in January this year, and she's been in here on a regular basis since then. Um, so we've followed her development and her career start uh, uh, in a very exciting way. Um, when she came in here, she came uh, for the first time in January, February. She was in here for two week engagement as a headline artist, and it was her first engagement as a headline artist and let alone a long engagement like that. So it was a bit controversial for us to present somebody like this because uh, when we opened last year, we announced like a really high level of ambition and high standards and so on. So uh, people were asking, well, why would you then book a, a, a 16 year old singer who hasn't had a, any, uh, who's never performed as a headline artist before? Um, and the yeah, answer, of course, was that we were dealing with uh, somebody of uh, exceptionally high talent. So we went ahead with it, and it proved to be amazing. We had like an incredible uh, two-week run that culminated in the appearance of uh, on the last day of uh, of her uh, one of her biggest uh, influences and, and, and mentors, uh, Brian McKnight, the great uh, American singer. Brian McKnight came in here on her last day and guessed it with us. Um, she has since been in here uh, many times d d during the year. She was here uh, during the uh, UNESCO International Jazz Day uh, broadcast that we did and she also was here during the Copenhagen Jazz Festival where she appeared with Ira in fact and Jeff Tain Watts on drums and um, some members of the Rolling Stones who came in here that night because they had just played at the Roskilde Festival uh, and had a night off and um, came in to hear Amanda and, and their saxophone player Tim Rees sat in on on, on, on on the last song so that was very exciting and um, she's been in here a few times since then so she's one of our our main artists here and one, uh, one part of the standard family of, of, of artists and we're incredibly proud to be uh, associated with her in this early phase of her career which uh, everyone has, feels certain that's going to go some very interesting places. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to bring her up on stage now. Please welcome Amanda Thompson. <laughs> so uh, we'd like to, or they'd like, I'm actually not playing on this one, uh, this is a very refreshing arrangement of, uh, of, of a very famous song that was made uh, famous by uh, Whitney Houston. And uh, would you tell us which yeah. song you're going to do? Our first song is called My Love Is Your Love and it's written by Wycliffe Jean. Tomorrow is judgment day And I'm standing on the front line And the Lord asked me what I did with my life I would say that I spent it with you If I wake up in World War Three, I see destruction and poverty, and I feel like I wanna go home. It's okay if you come in with me. Cause your love is my love And my love is your love It would take any 
eternity to break us And the chains of our start couldn't hold us Your love is my love And my love is your love It would take an eternity to break us And the chains of our start couldn't hold us If I lose my fame and fortune And I'm homeless on the street And I'm sleeping in Grand Central Station It's okay if you're sleeping with me And as the years they pass us by We stay young through each other's eyes And no matter how old we get old It's okay as long as I got you, babe Cause your love is my love Take an eternity to break us And the chains of our start couldn't hold us Your love is my love And my love is your love It would take an eternity to break us And the chains of our start couldn't hold us If I should die this very day Don't cry, cause on earth we wasn't meant to stay Judgment Day Oh Cause your love Is my love My love Is your love It would take an eternity To break us And the chains of our start Couldn't hold us Your love Is my love And my love Is your love It would take an eternity To break us And the chains of our start couldn't hold us This very day Don't cry Cause on earth We wasn't meant to stay And no matter What the people say Yeah, it really don't matter I'll be waiting for you After the judgment day Oh Your love is my love My love is your love Take an eternity to break us And the chains of our start couldn't hold us Your love is my love And my love is your love It would take an eternity to break us And the chains of our start couldn't hold us
Thank you, Amanda Thompson. And Nicholas Bartley. Thank you. Then the next song uh, that Amanda would like to do for you is a um, song written by one of the great singer-songwriters out there on the scene today. Uh, and this is uh, Alicia Keys. Uh, she uh, wrote this next song. Uh, she co-wrote it actually with uh, Carrie Brothers Jr. And the song is called When You Really Love Someone. Worse. She's giving comfort when she's thinking that you're hurt 
Even when you're at your worst She's giving comfort When she's thinking that you're hurt And that's what's done When you really love someone And tell it all Oh, yeah, yeah That's what's done When you really love someone Thank you very much. Our next song is called Just Hold Me and it's written by the Norwegian singer called Maria Mina. Comfortable as I am, I need your reassurance. Comfortable as you are, you count the days. But if I wanted silence, I would whisper. And if I wanted loneliness, I choose to go. And if I like rejection, I'd audition And if I didn't love you You would know And why Why can't you just Hold me And how come It is so hard And do You see the light now At the end of this narrow hall I wish it didn't matter Oh no I wish I didn't give you all But if I wanted silence I would whisper And if I wanted loneliness i choose to go And if I like rejection I'd audition And if I didn't love you You would know And why Understood, baby. Oh, no one likes a sad face. But I can remember life without him. Oh, I think I did have good days. I think I did have good days. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Amanda Thompson, Nicholas Badeleben. It's nice to feel uh, that the music, is, the future of the music is in good hands when you reach a certain age. Would you agree? <laughs> Speak for myself, okay, sorry. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> um, we have one more song for you with Amanda, and this is a, um, uh, a, a song by the legendary songwriter Leon Russell. Uh, he wrote this in the, sometimes in the, in the 70s, uh, which may seem like a long time ago, but it really isn't when you consider the fact that this song has become a standard. Um, most of the songs that we call standard songs originate from the 1930s or 40s and are usually Broadway show tunes or film song, songs from Hollywood films from that era. So uh, this song we're going to do now becoming a standard uh, in, in much quicker time span than this uh, is of course in part because it's a great song but also because it's been recorded by many not only many artists, but also many different types of artists. Um, to give you an idea of the uh, spectrum uh, of the types of artists who have recorded this song, um, we can mention a few. Let's see. Um, Aretha Franklin did a version of it, um, but so did Barbara Streisand. So, you know, they're, they're really very different types of singers, right? And uh, I also know that um, Frank Sinatra did a version. But so did Christina Aguilera. <laughs> I feel like saying uh, Elvis Presley did a version and Björk did a version too, but I don't know if they did. Probably not, but they could have. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't uh, rule it out. <laughs> but uh, personally, I'm a, I'm a, a, a big fan of, of Amanda Thompson's version of it, and uh, I always insist that, that we do this song whenever we play together. So uh, she hasn't objected so far. So. And so we're going to do it for you tonight also. So please enjoy Amanda Thompson's uh, rendition of the classic Leon Russell song called A Song for You. So many 
any places in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs and I've made some bad rhymes I've acted out my life and With ten thousand people watching all, oh. but we're alone now, and I'm singing a song for you. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. Treated you unkindly, but darling, can't you see? There is no one more important to me, darling. Can't you see through me that we're alone now, and I'm singing the song for you? You taught me precious secrets of the truth. And you came out in front But I was hiding But now I'm so much better And if my words don't come together Listen to my melody Cause my There is no space or time How oh, I love you for my life You are a friend of mine And when my life is over Remember when we were together, baby We were alone and I Was singing a song for you Oh, 
us singing this song for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amanda Thompson. Thank you so much. Be sure to catch her again when she comes. Thank you, Amanda. because our next guest is a pianist, so I'm going to take a, a, a break here. But uh, I'd like to say a few words about him first. He was uh, here in last summer at the Standard during the Copenhagen Jazz Festival, and he uh, was here for 10 days, and uh, we had 10 mesmerizing days with this incredible, incredible pianist. Uh, He's uh, from Bali, which is a unusual place for a jazz pianist to come from. Uh, but it's um, and one more time an indication of uh, uh, the fact that uh, jazz has truly become international uh, at this point in time, uh, with great artists emerging from from, from every part of the the world. Uh, he's very young. Um, he, uh, when he came here last summer, he had just turned 11, but in spite of it, is an incredible pianist, like, uh, for, you know, one of the best I've, I've heard, actually. Uh, but what's really interesting about him, I think, is the fact that, um, well, I have to say, when I first heard him, I had a, a sensation that, that I hadn't experienced in years. I, I, I remember feeling this the same way as I felt the first time I heard some jazz artist that I was really excited about when I was really young, when I started to discover this music for the first time. And uh, this was really encouraging and refreshing uh, that, that a new artist can make you feel this way. Uh, because I've, uh, I've been longing for that, actually. Um, and I think I've been trying to figure out what it is that uh, made me feel this way. And I have a theory. I'll share it with you. We'll see, see what you think. Um, in English, you talk about playing music. That's the, how you describe the act of what we do up here. You play music. So the word play is interesting because it's, it's, music is a, a, a very playful, and jazz in particular, uh, because it's improvised. I usually say like 98% of the, the, the notes you hear up, up here on a jazz concert are improvised, are, are not uh, planned in advance, are, are made up on the spot. Um, so it's improvised, spontaneous, but it's also very interactive. Musicians are interacting constantly. Uh, um, and uh, so there's a lot of playfulness involved and it's, it's very similar mechanism as children at play, you know, small children playing. Uh, so I think when, when, as you grow up and become adults, you try to learn, relearn how to play, you know, and playing and creativity is very, very linked together. And I think that uh, children, um, most people would agree that children are the best uh, at playing. And they, uh, so when you have this combination of uh, a child that uh, that's, has the natural playfulness of a child, and then you have uh, at the same time 
incredible musicianship and great, great command of the instrument, then I think it's a, an incredible recipe for incredible jazz, really. So uh, it's been fantastic to experience uh, him perform with, uh, with these two guys here uh, at the Standard every night at the moment. So uh, we're so happy that he could be part of uh, this, this broadcast as well. We, uh, we really love him and we're so thrilled that he's here. Please welcome on piano, Joey Alexander. So I heard that um, Thelonious Monk was one of your first uh, inspirators, right? Yeah. So, so you're going to play a Thelonious Monk tune for us? Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I really like his songs, and that's why I started playing piano, listening to him. And... Now I'd like to play one of the songs called I'm in You. Great. Enjoy. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Thank you. 
you very much and now I'd like to do a song written by Billy Strayhorn. It's called Rush Five. Hope you enjoyed.
Thank you very much. And once again, Nikos Ballet Bond Vumps. And the great Aya Coleman bass. And now we'd like to do our last song for tonight. And hope you enjoy this. It's called It Might As Well Be Spring.
Okay, so I'm gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for coming here, and I like to say I want to thank you, honor and happy being part of this new legacy concert. That, and thank you for Mr. Neil Sandoki inviting me here, and. And thank you for these players who want to play with me. <laughs> and now we gotta do a swing, and this is uh, written by Doug Ellington. It's called Dominative and Got That Swing.
Thank you once again, Joey Alexander, Niklas Badeleben, Amanda Thompson, Ira Coleman, and I'm Nils Landoki. Thank you. I'd like to say that uh, Joey, uh, myself, uh, Ira, and Niklas are actually appearing here at the Standard uh, every night except uh, Monday, uh, all the, mo the whole month of November. Amanda will be back soon. Uh, we have dates in the works, not publicized yet, uh, but uh, stay tuned, check out our website. And then I want to say the last time, um, we have the next broadcast on Sunday, two weeks from now, Sunday, November 23rd. Uh, so tune in and spread the word to everyone you know. Thank you. <laughs>